Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with some more Hama, a Detective Noir story, and we're reliving the past here where we try to remember what happened to us when we were drugged. So let's look at this painting. My mind is too confused to focus on anything else. I remember... There were candles left and right. There is a matchbox I used to light them. Also, weirdly enough, she making it sound like she lit them. My mind is too conf... Hey, right, well... Hey! Where's my stuff? Oh, right. Something happened. Somebody brought me here. Did they... Did they drug me? Well, it sounds like you got drugged. Mm, there's this strange white powder all over my face and clothes. <sighs> Whatever this is, it's giving me a huge headache. I remember a cloud of white powder smelling like swamp. Let's see if Grandpa mentioned anything about this. Oh, something stuck to this page. A sheet of some sort of thin leather. Okay. In told me about a powerful wake-up drug, ideal to counter the poison she welded like an expert. Take the shell of a scorpion, dry ground it up, and press it into a sheet. Then roll it up tightly and smoke it like you would smoke a cigar. Not the greatest of smokes I've ever had, but it cleared up any residual fog from my last skirmish. That doesn't work. According to the description in the journal, I should roll this up into a cigarette. Huh. Never thought my freaking abuse of smokables would come in handy. That's right, you gotta smoke that cigarette. A fresh scorpion skin cigarette. A little weird. Let's try something else. A fresh... I should try. Okay, so we're good there. My mind is too con... So we can't get her to like, clear out her mind? A fresh score. Not really, so I think we are good. My mind is too confused to focus on anything else. Oh no. There were candles left and right. There is a matchbox I used to light them. I remember that I used one of the matches to light the cigarette. There we go. A lit cigarette. If the journal is correct, this should help me clear my head. There you go, we finally got the cigarette. <sighs> That's exactly what I needed. So now with that, we're a little bit more clear-headed. We should hopefully be able to talk about this painting. What is that painting? What is that painting? Okay, nothing really new there. I think they're not gonna... Hmm... If the jer- <sighs> What is that paint? Okay, so everything looks to be good. Let's try to go up again. If I'm careful, I can escape. And where do you think you're going? Charlie, is that any way to greet our guest? <sighs> Ooh, taking a walk. We're going down. Ah, Miss Hartman. So nice to meet you. I'm sorry we are meeting under these circumstances, but I assure you, I don't mean any harm. You abduct me and drug me and you don't mean any harm. I hate to see what you'd do to me if you did. I'd hate to see that for you too. What do you want from me? Your investigation, Miss Hartman. I've been following it with some interest. You're getting further than most people. Who, what, what does he know? Let's start up from the top. Who are you? My name is Maximilian Alexander Primus. But at some point, my adversary started referring to me as Map. And I suppose it stuck around. What else would you like to know? So he's the Map guy that we've been... Trying to figure out. What am I doing here? I wanted to have a conversation. In an environment of my choice under my control. You abduct people just to have a conversation with them? 
I do. Does that worry you? Just seems a little psycho. Spoken like a person who doesn't share my life experiences. But now that we're talking, I realize you're a lot further than I'd hoped. I'll just have to move quicker. Charlie, prepare the sketches. We want them there next dawn. And once we're done, destroy everything still here. You must still have many questions. What does he know? What do you know about me? Charlie told me about the events at the Oktoberfest. And I understand that you're currently following Schulein's trail. What is it to you? You're dealing with the legacy of people I used to know quite well. Take Joseph, for instance. How do you know about him? We go way back. But that story is for another time. You must still have many questions. And then let's ask about Joseph. I think I'd like to hear that story now. Understandable. But you're asking me to explain the ocean to a mole. You have no idea what you're even looking for. I don't think you even know the lion, the fox, and the frog, do you? Figures. Let me tell you that Joseph was a thief and a fool of a man. The lame fools will go to protect what they believe is their legacy. Perhaps that's why your grandfather and him got along. Well, before he ruined that, as he did with everything. But, you know, Judith, sometimes it's best to just live your life and not engage with such foolery. What else would you like to know? It seems like this guy's trying to throw us off. Like, yeah, maybe you should just let it go. You know, it's just a waste of time. Let's ask about her grandfather. What do you know about my grandfather? I thought I'd meet you one day. My grandfather, like granddaughter, right? I know he gave up on his quest. When family became involved. I told him, you know. If he pressed his luck, people could die. I just hoped it wasn't anyone he truly cared about. It was uncalled for. What are you talking about? You don't know? About your grandfather, your parents? Shame. You must still have many questions. I mean, we'll start from the top. We'll talk about the grandfather, and then hopefully we can really talk about our parents, because we have not heard anything about them. What do you know about my grandfather? I know he gave up on his quest. When family became involved. I told him, you know. If he pressed his luck, people could die. I just hoped it wasn't anyone he truly cared about. What else would you like to know? And I'm guessing it was her parents that died. Tell me about my parents. Not so fast. I've already told you so much. I want something in return. Ask me anything. Not an answer, an item. Miss Hartman, the journal. Give me the journal and I'll tell you everything. First, you tell me all these things that raise so many questions. And now, now you tell me you won't answer any of it until I give you the journal. No, I don't play that game. <laughs> Shoot yourself. Just know I can tell you anything you'd ever want to know. Should you change your mind, call me. And now that's how we got his phone Charlie, number. can you ensure our guest returns home safely? Of course. That's pretty cool. Pocket sand. Uh, so that's what happened. So this man. Try to find out how all this might be connected. Alrighty, so. We know this guy's map. Hmm. Apparently not. Let's try something else. I should try. Why should I call? Yeah, well, at least now she knows a lot more. It's a cigarette. I think they're not connected. That doesn't work. Let's try something. This doesn't make any sense. 
Okay, so what, what do we need to connect here? Who is the map and what does he want? Hmm. Hmm. I don't... Hmm. I wonder if the nun paintings I've seen in the salon in the House of Arts are somehow connected to the nuns I've read about in this letter. Hmm. Assuming the nun's relic and the bone are the same object. And JB said the bird, a phoenix, homer bird, whatever, represents eternal life. That means the nuns brought something with them that makes people immortal. How? I mean, assuming for a moment reality is on a break and all this stuff is possible. Alrighty, so now we have connected something at least. The relic the nuns found brings eternal life. I should try something. Unfortunately, those don't go together. Let's try something. If the bone gives eternal life, again, assuming this kind of stuff is even possible, the slimy dude could be the same person as the one in the letter. How old would he be now? At least some hundred years, right? That's, that's crazy. He can't be. But if so, it means he was in possession of the bone once and became immortal. But then he lost it. The nuns found it. Very interesting. The bone was lost. No. Let's try something else. So, the immortal guy loses the relic that makes people immortal. The nuns bring it to Munich. Huh. <sighs> if I were to believe this is real for a moment, does it mean the bone's still here? In Munich? Slowly but surely, finding out the bone is still there, but the bone was lost. If this story is true, it's possible the bone is still somewhere in Munich. Alright, well, let's try to connect. That doesn't work. I think they're not... I don't see how those two... Hmm... Okay. This map guy wants the bone, and for some reason he needs me to find it. Why? Oh, Shaline and Grandpa must have been searching for it as well. And maybe Shaline found it and left some breadcrumbs for Grandpa? But why? I feel like there's a gap. I'm missing some information. Anyway, I start following this trail and I make progress. Somehow, that immortal guy finds out about it. Ugh, and then he wants me to work for him. Why? He surely knows more about the bone than I do. But... Maybe not where it is. I must know something he doesn't. My, my grandpa's journal. It contains the information map lacks, along with the stuff from Shalina I already found. This is all such a mindfuck. Like, am I buying into all that? Relics and immortals and a nun and... Oh, fuck. I should go. Well, at least she figured it out. Judith! I didn't expect to see you here. <gasps> I'm sorry, everyone. I just happened to see a friend I had not seen for a long time. Please, excuse me. As for us, let's go somewhere more quiet. I'm not going anywhere. Not until I have answers. I found the letter. You got some explaining to do. And like I've told you, I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. But first, you know what I want. The journal, Judith. Give it to me and I'll tell you anything. I'm not giving up my only guide. But I do want answers. I'll make him answer. Damn, make him answer. Okay. I must know something he doesn't. Let's try some. I don't see how the. Okay, so what do we know that they don't? Okay. Yeah, we've already read that. It looks like that was what was needed in there. Whenever I asked Joseph what happened to our research, Joseph fell silent. Only last night he told me the truth. Among the men of the essay was a person entirely unlike them. 
Joseph's voice hinted of fear as he spoke to his, of his man, though he was unsure where that fear came from. Whatever it was, the essay listened to him as he told them to take all of Joseph's papers. Everything is gone now, my friend said. Everything. What will Nassim think of me now? Hmm. I think they're not gonna... No. I should try... That doesn't work. Let's try something. Let's try something. I should try... I think they're... That doesn't work. Let's try something. Hmm. I must know... I don't see how... This doesn't make any... Hmm. We already read that. This doesn't make any... That doesn't work. Hmm. Let's try something. This doesn't make... Okay, we've already connected on it's everything. It's a cigarette. This... Map. Tell me what's happening here. Pull out the knife? Because... I won't hesitate to be at the end of your very, very long tale. A weapon? Judith, you know better than to choose violence. Do I? If you've been paying any attention to me, you know I do this. Charlie? Get the journal. Now. Damn, just knocked her out. We have no idea what happened. Uh, where am I? What happened? What is this place? This woman. Did she rescue me? Why? I have to find out what's going on. Rain Basin. What the? Where's my stuff? They robbed me. Well, not all of it, but they did. Ugh, the journal. It's gone. Yeah, they took the journal, unfortunately. What did the description? Journey of, of this of the king oh, God damn it. Pressed the wrong button. A man is the third Let's get through all, all this absent. again. In the fourth three nuns, we also see a man in the left. I'm assuming the the frog saved us. And now we can kind of look around. What a weird little key. Very interesting. It's a part of the letter, it seems. Some it more stuff. Torn apart. It reads, She's so special to me, so dear to my heart. She always was with the most beloved martyr, Saint Stephen. She is like an epiphany for me. So large and strong, but she's never in Lent. She devotes herself to my cathedral like no other, even though she sleeps through May Day. This is where my most precious will be hidden. Now and forevermore. How weird is that? Is that a riddle? Hmm, the paper's torn off after that. I can see some musical notes. A melody, perhaps? Anyway, it's not complete. The lower half of it's still missing. Alrighty, so we have a whole new puzzle. Dear Judith, you don't know me, but I know you. I've been watching you. You must feel confused, but rest assured, I don't mean you any harm. I knew your grandfather very well. I think he even had feelings for me. You know that he was searching for an old relic. A bone. A bone that gives eternal life. The people chasing you search for it too and they must never get it. That's why I brought you here. This is my place, and they don't know about it, so keep it secret. 
Well, that's nice. Well, I'll continue reading. You can come here anytime as a retreat. I've written the code for the door on the back of this letter. In return, you must find and destroy the bone before Map and Dr. Jaeger get their hands on it. It is powerful. Too powerful. Don't worry. I'll always be near you. When the time comes, we will meet. Your grandfather was close to finding the bone. I don't know how exactly, but he told me he was missing only one piece of the puzzle, and the solution was with Sister Bladina. You already know her confession, but it is not yet complete. Your grandfather had the other part. The important one. The one she wrote for Map. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. I'm super confused, of course. In the quarrel with me, it was torn apart. I could no longer trust him. It was too dangerous. You have the first part, I have the second, and the third must still be with your grandfather. At least, I hope so. Judith? I trust you. I'll give you my part of the confession. With your investigation skills, you can probably find the secret location of the bone and destroy it. Something your grandfather and I never managed to do. Before he died, he sent me a small key. I'm sure it has something to do with the confession. Take it. Good luck. Nassim. What the heck is going on here? What was my grandpa up to? Who is this Nassim? Can I trust her? Well... At least I can open that door and get out now. Alrighty, so we get that long letter. We already heard a little bit about Nassim from uh, the grandfather's journal. This must be Nassim's tent. But it looks like nothing much after that. I've never seen such a place before. Looks like a huge underground warehouse. Okay, so we're all good there. Nassim must have carried me down here. Nassim is super strong. Alrighty, so there's a few places we can go to. Let's go to our home. I'm pretty sure the key will work on that. Shall I read the... This must be the other part. She and my... Should I read? Yeah, so she got in a big fight. This is a very small, intricate, and rather weird key. Nassim got it from my grandpa. And I bet you that'll work right here. Nassim mentioned the last part of Sister Bladina's confession is with my grandpa. And I can probably use this weird little key to find something. Let's turn this thing around. Alrighty, whoa. What a weird winding mechanism. I remember seeing something similar in my grandpa's journal. Now, how does this work? Hmm. So we start here. We finish here. Yes! The key from the seam fits. But I think I need to get it to the middle of the labyrinth. Hmm. Okay. So you have to get to the middle. Okay, I've moved it one position. Seems I can only move it one step at a time. So where can I go next with this key? Okay. Okay, the key is at the winding mechanism. Damn! Nothing happens. I can turn it as much as I want. Key just rotates freely. Hmm. Very strange. Ah, oh, this is a pure guessing game. I bet my grandpa had the solution written down in his journal. Damn. I think I really need it back to solve this. 
And I bet this map guy from the business card is behind the theft of my stuff. Alrighty, so we received a new item. We can now leave. I'll try this again another time. Looks like we'll have to come back eventually. I think they're not gonna... First, I need my journal back. There's probably something in the journal that can help me. Okay. I guess I have no other choice but to call this criminal. I knew you would call me back, Judith. Shut up, you asshole. Give me back the damn journal. I know you stole it. Oh, that's not so easy, you know. It's a very valuable object. Probably we can arrange a barter. Demand securities don't trust him, ask for offer. Let's not trust him. <laughs> you think after all that's happened, I'll trust you one bit. You don't have much of a choice, do you, Judith? And anyway, I don't have the journal. I'm an honorable man. The journal is with a trustee. Let's meet at the office of Dr. Jaeger tonight. Chief Jaeger? So, he's in on this too. Trustee! Yeah, right. Very trustworthy, your Dr. Jaeger. Don't trust your own employer? You know very well what happened. And now, I also know where the journal is, you idiot. Ask for offer, get mad. Let's get mad. Why not? I'd love to, but this doesn't bring me anywhere right now. Well, I guess we gotta ask for offer. So, what are you offering, douchebag? Ah, Judith. Always charming. It's an offer you won't refuse. You really convinced me by what you've achieved so far. We've been looking for that bone longer than you can imagine. And you just overtook all of us. Really impressive. So, we've got the journal. You've got the brains. Let's work together. Come on. What do you say? Prick. Never. Ugh! But I need the journal. I have to play along. <sighs> well, let's meet. I knew you would come to your senses. In your dreams. I will get the journal, but without your shitty barter. See you in Dr. Yeager's office. Alrighty. So we got that <sighs> taken care of. No way, Map. I will be in Dr. Yeager's office. But you won't see me. And the police station. Back to our, you know, job. We're going to stop there today, so make sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out the links below. And next time, we will explore the police office or the police station.